Cooking, I'm Emily from the Boca Voice, and today we are at the timeless and exquisite Boca Raton Resort and Club. We'll be stopping inside to check out Morimoto and get some insight on all the dining experiences the resort has to offer. Let's check it out. Today here at Morimoto is Kevin Ives, Director of Food and Beverage here at the Boca Resort. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you for being here. Kevin, can you start by telling us more of your career and your journey here at the resort? Sure. So I've been with the resort for about five years now. Uh, actually, when I came, I started as the executive chef of restaurants. I moved down from Chicago. Um, previous to that, I've been a chef for over 20 years. Um, oh my gosh. So, uh, chef in uh, suit clothing so that is an incredible career yeah. so now how has that translated to your role as um, director so specific to our restaurants I mean it's it's a beautiful marriage um, because obviously any restaurant um, I mean, people of course great service and things like that are an important part of the element but people don't generally pick their restaurants based off of service it's generally going to be about the food uh, and obviously in, in my role I have a you know intimate relationship with our, our chefs, um, obviously an intimate relationship into what we're doing and how we execute it every day. My role is really uh, meant to complement and put the focal point where it belongs in our culinary, in our restaurant bar program. Uh, obviously the scale of the property, I mean we have over a thousand rooms and two hotels so we need variety as a practical matter but it has a lot to do with our history and the personality of that history. So we were started in 1926 by Addison Miser uh, and Addison Miser was a pretty eccentric guy to begin with, ran around property in silk pajamas with a couple monkeys running around his shoulders. So, you know, at the end of the day, yes, we are an institution of luxury in South Florida and all those things, but I say all the time, we kind of don't take ourselves all that seriously because it has a lot to do with that playfulness that he started this place with. And, and I think the, what the variety speaks to is his philosophy. And, you know, originally when he, he launched this hotel in 1926, this was intended to be America's greatest playground, right? And the trick to keeping everybody on the playground is to make sure they don't have a need to leave the playground. Right? So you can spend a week on this property and probably not do the same thing twice if you really tried hard um, between restaurants and different experiences and things like that. So it's, it's very much uh, not only a, a, a practical need, but also very much uh, part of our history and the personality that this place was started with. I love that because so many people are so familiar with this property being so timeless and so outstanding. But to hear about the voice and the mm. personality mm. of the property, just lends another side to it. I love that. Now, today we are inside Morimoto, named after Masahara Morimoto, who any Food Network nerd is just floored that we have one of his restaurants here in Boca Raton. Can you tell me more about the history of this restaurant inside of the resort? Sure. I mean, it's this is probably one of our most successful restaurants. Um, I, I mean, as you mentioned, having Chef Morimoto here when I was interviewing for this job and found out we had a Morimoto restaurant, it was a little surreal. Uh, frankly, a little intimidating, probably. But uh, you know, it's it's. Having this restaurant here is, is important to us, not only because uh, of where we're located, uh, obviously right on the coast and here in Boca Raton, so our fish program here in the hotel is, is a huge deal for us. Um, but this restaurant was opened in 2008, uh, a little bit different than most of Chef Morimoto's restaurants. This is strictly a sushi bar. Uh, so while we do have other things other than sushi on the menu, uh, a couple hot items and things like that, the focal point here is the sushi program, right? And, and Chef Takao uh, has been with Chef Morimoto since the beginning, since his first restaurant uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, so if anybody knows the signatures of uh, all of those finesses of what makes Chef Morimoto style what it is, it's, it's certainly him. That's incredible. The authenticity level mm -hmm. that you're then reaching here is phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. And I think as we partner uh, with different chefs or different uh, restaurants and things like that, it's it's important, you know, that, that personality that we talked about earlier uh, that really came from Madison Miser has a lot to do with what that is and, and how it weaves into what we do. 
Uh, Chef Morimoto is uh, obviously an icon in, in the sushi world, uh, but his style very specifically is, is rooted obviously in the, in the traditions and uh, classic sushi making uh, with that innovation and a little bit of Western flair thrown into it. So it, it really speaks to that personality that we talk about here in the, the property. Absolutely, what a perfect pairing. Mm. And I am so excited to go through, I see that Chef prepared oh, yes. some dishes for us today. Oh, yes. And this is, I mean, as you can see, visual art, uh, as opposed to, you know, or, or in, in combination with being absolutely delicious. And, you know, I talk a lot about uh, our fish program here. You know, it's we're located right here, uh, the, the main campus uh, on the inlet going uh, right out into the Atlantic Ocean. You know, where we sit here is uh, the closest point uh, where the Gulf Stream runs up and down the state of Florida. So it's sort of like I-95 for fishermen. Uh, and we literally, I, I say all the time, we have the fresh, freshest fish program in South Florida. Uh, we buy fish directly off of our um, so uh, aside from the quality part of it, a lot of it for us is the ability to be able to storytell, right? So being able to, at a table or, you know, with our guests, explain not only the origins of where the fish came from, when the fish was caught, but what the name of the boat was that it came off of and what the name of the fisherman was and all of those. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's that piece of the storytelling is absolutely priceless in, in giving our guests the experience. So I have my chopsticks in hand. I am ready to dive into these dishes. Beautiful. So this is uh, a selection of Chef Morimoto's signature sashimis. Uh, starting from this end, we have toro, which is uh, one of the most decadent of ingredients. Uh, this is uh, fatty tuna belly uh, with caviar, uh, a little bit of fresh local tuna with avocado. Uh, we have hamachi with scallion and jalapeno. Uh, salmon with a little bit of seaweed and chive, uh, and then fresh crab uh, wrapped in cucumber and a little bit of salmon roe. Sauces on there are going to be a red pepper and cilantro sauce, so these are meant to be enjoyed as they are, no, no dipping in soy sauce needed, so let's try them out. This dish seriously looks like art in itself, the way that the sauces are aligned. The attention to detail that went behind plating this is just outstanding. Yeah, thank you. I mean, that, that's uh, really an integral part of what makes this what it is. The, the visually stunning uh, presentation, the ingredients, the textures, the colors. Uh, you know, as, as we always say, you eat first with your eyes. Uh, so that, that really dramatic and stunning presentation is, is such an integral part of what makes this sushi what it is. I am ready to dive in. Yeah, good. Let's try it. All right. This is one of those plates where I almost feel bad, though, because it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so I would start uh, possibly with some of the lighter ones. So either the crab or the hamachi. Okay. Uh, and then move your way through in a progression, you know. Start on this end, kind of work your way in this direction. Okay. I'll go with the hamachi then. Get some You'll definitely get a little jalapeno. Maybe the beauty in this dish is party. there's no dunking in the soy sauce required. Everything is garnished and sauced exactly as it's intended to be. Ready to go. <laughs> you get that balance mm -hmm. of textures and flavors and ultimately Nothing that's here is meant to overpower or, or uh, overstate not. the flavor of the fish. That's really where the focal point is. The tenderness mm -hmm. of the fish itself is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And how thinly sliced the jalapeno is Absolutely. is so perfect because the hamachi is so light. Yeah. So sometimes when you get a fish and they put those really thick slices of jalapeno, yeah. it just ruins it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that one's perfect. Have you tried toro before? I haven't. Mm, try it. It's, so, having both of these right next to each other, this is the traditional tuna that you would generally have. Um, much different animal here. It comes off the same uh, animal or the same fish, but a different part. So you're gonna get a different textural experience, a different flavor experience. I've also never had caviar, so. Oh well. I'm feeling very fancy I'm tonight. A, I'm gonna wait for the look on your face to see whether you love it or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Right, the richness of it. And, yeah. And it's, so think of uh, this as the cut on the tuna that would essentially be bacon, right? So okay. all that richness and everything that you would get out of that portion of the fish, you're getting in this cut. When you had said belly for a minute, I was thinking like a foie gras, sort of like a mm. very rich, what, you know, what, what that would be like to me. 
but it's not that heavy whatsoever. No. It really still has that light body um, sense to it. You still get that beautiful like minerality and kind of almost irony quality that tuna has, but with all that richness behind it. I'm a fan. Good. <laughs> So maybe next, uh, try a bit of the tuna, and then you can see how those two cuts compare to each other. Okay. You've got that beautiful uh, fresh avocado, which obviously this time of year uh, is gonna be really, really uh, great. You've got that freshness behind it. One chef said guacamole on the sashimi. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> right, so that that's a little bit of that, you know, Chef Morimoto style, where he's taking uh, traditional sushi making technique, those traditions, but integrating it with maybe a little bit more Western ingredients and things like that. Gosh, that was just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The sauces, just even though on the plate they are separate colors, mm -hmm. somehow the way that they melody together mm -hmm. is so smooth and just pairs well with every single item on the plate. Absolutely, you get that brightness and acidity of the red pepper sauce and then that really aromatic kind of floral flavor from the cilantro sauce. Absolutely. All right, then and this is So this is salmon? salmon. Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, very finely chopped uh, seaweed and fresh chive on top. Now, which one is your favorite? Um, so I, I tend to go more towards the Toro just because I like that big bulk flavor of it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Hamachi for sure. Uh, if I had to pick two off of this plate, those would probably be my picks. I like that little bit of spice from the jalapeno. Yes. I love the, the textural difference. You get that like crunch of the jalapeno and a little bit of the scallion and that really kind of firm but soft texture of the fish. I love, I love textural balance in the fish. And I feel like people underestimate that on a plate of sashimi. Because they think, oh, it's just a bunch of slices of raw fish, so it must all be the same. But when you have it at this degree and this quality, they're absolutely yeah. not the same, the firmness, the textures. And it should be on some level a little bit subliminal, right? So not everybody's going to pick up on that textural balance. Not everybody's gonna pick up on the, you know, the flavor combination of the red pepper sauce and the cilantro together, but it's the enjoyment of, of just knowing like, wow, that tasted really good, but not necessarily understanding all the balance and why it's tasting so good. Uh, so that's really the artistry and the mastery that Chef puts together. Absolutely. All right, so I have one left. Yeah. What are um, these on top? So that's caviar as well. That comes from the salmon. Uh, so salmon caviar, uh, obviously a much bigger uh, egg, but you're gonna get a, a pop of richness, um, kind of almost a buttery texture in your mouth from it. Mm. They're popping. Yep. In a pleasurable way, I hope. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> This one has to be just the most fun yeah. because of the most obvious texture differences yeah. within the one piece. Yeah, the cucumber, that crunchy cucumber, and you get a little bit of that salinity, that saltiness of the crab, and, and then that just really rich buttery pop of the caviar on top. Absolutely. With the, once you get to the center with the crab and it just flakes apart, mm -hmm. these are <laughs> each just phenomenal, but in their own light, yet they all work in the same, and they all pair perfectly with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Wow. These are just outstanding. Thank you so much for sharing with me really the variety of sushi that you have here. There's nothing, there's nothing, someone can't say, oh, it's just, just a sushi bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, the level of intricacy and textures and flavors that has been achieved here is just outstanding. Yeah, thank you. There's a lot of hard work that goes into it, but uh, glad you appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming and letting us share uh, all of this with you. you know, hopefully learning a little bit more about us, but more importantly, letting us, you know, kind of explain something we're so passionate about. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Boca, whether you are someone traveling on a vacation, you are a local looking for a fantastic staycation or an incredible local resort club member, next time you're here at the resort, stop on by Morimoto to enjoy the resort's exclusive and incredible restaurant. Till next time.